Welcome to the PCB Artist video tutorial series. In this third video of series one, we will continue the example schematic. First, we will remove the extra capacitors used, for example, in the last video. Now we will send the components to the component bin to leave room to work. From the main menu we will choose Edit Select All to select all the components at once. The component bin allows us to move the parts off of the sheet without removing them completely from the schematic. Now we will add a document frame from the schema library. Click on the interaction bars add component tab and choose the schema library. We will use the document frame called letter. Click in the preview and drag into the design just like a component. Then click on the interaction bars component bin tab and drag the parts into position. In the list of components click on the gate shown to select the part. For easier reference, these will be placed in roughly the same position as they are placed in the tutorial PDF. To rotate a component, push the R key on your keyboard. Now we will create the connections between components as shown in the tutorial PDF. If you click on the X of the R1 pin, hold down and drag a connection line will begin. Draw to the other pin of the connection. If the connection is good, the X marking the other pin will disappear. If the X remains, there isn't a connection. A connection can be drawn to an existing connection to join that net. The connection will show as a large dot. The Add Connection icon can be used when there isn't a pin available to drag a new connection from. 
When a connection joins another connection with a different net, a warning dialog will appear. The warning message indicates the two nets being merged and which of the two net names the merge net will have. If the designer clicks OK to merge the nets, the nets merge entirely, not just a particular subnet. The resulting net is determined by which net is being drawn from. If the opposite net is the one desired, choose Cancel and then draw the connection from the opposite direction. We will now add power and ground symbols to the design from the schema library. We will add 4 0 V, 2 plus 15 volt, and 2 minus 15 volt symbols. Power and ground symbols are specially made components with a built-in implied net connection. There are other ways to assign nets to power and ground nets, but this way will make a printout easier to read. Once all the power and ground symbols are placed, we will connect them to the proper nets. The power and ground symbols do not have an X marking the pin. The pin is there, but according to net rules, the pin is already on a net, so the X does not appear. Once again, we will be merging nets. Always read the warning carefully to ensure the correct net name shows as the result. Now is a good point to save the schematic. Click on the save icon in the top icon bar.